To continue with our application, what we want to do is get the list of the posts and write them on the database so we can open the application in offline mode and see what we have in the database. Okay, so for that, we have the database open helper, which is going to create, open the database. We have a contract where the structure is defined, and now we need to handle the write and read of operation. For that, I'm going to create an object, which is going to be the, like the database manager. It's the one that is going to access to that data. And for that, it's going to be called database access object, or DAO. So let's start. Okay, this object is going to be a singleton. I want to retrieve this object for from any part of the application because I maybe want to read from the application uh, to show the data on an adapter, and then I maybe want to write data in a service or in a syntax. So because I want to access to the database from the whole application, I'm going to create a singleton, and it's time for that. We have created a singleton before, so I'm just going to go fast. What I just need to have is a static variable, which is going to have the instance of this. And then one method that is going to instantiate the object if it has not been created before or if or it is going to give me the existing object if there is an existing one. So if our instance is known, this means that this is the first time we are calling it, just create a new object. If not, just return the instance. Okay, so this is an object which is just returning instance. This is get Okay. Ready. So first we are going to start with the method store just to write. So we are going to create a boolean method. And this is going to receive a list of posts. Okay, so basically this is going to get a list of posts, which will come from the main activity. When we download the post, we are going to save it on the database. So first we need to open the database. It's a SQLite database, we call it DB, and it's going to be a new database open helper. This needs a context. So we will send the context also in this in this method. This needs a context. And that's all. And then we are going to ask for the get readable database. Get readable database is a method that the database open helper has. So once we have the database, what we have to do is start a trans transaction. So begins transaction. And now for every post. In our post list, 
we are going to do an operation. In this case, prepare it to store in the database. So for that, we are going to create an object, content values. A content values object is an object that has key and pair values. Something like the preference. We put a name and a value. So we just put, in this case, we have the database contract. So we know what are we going to insert in this table. The title and the value of the title. In this case, post get title. Okay, so the same for all the fields. We have first the link and then the image link. Okay, now we have the content value. So now we just execute database insert in the table, so again, database contract, the name of the table. That's why we have the contract, so we avoid mistakes with all the fields. This field is null. And we need the content values. Perfect. So this is going to do a form and for every element we are going to insert this on the database. When we have finished this, we are going to call set transaction successful and we are going to finish the transaction. Finally, we will close the database. Okay. So we are, we are going to have this on a try catch just in case there is any problem. All of this operation is going to be inside that try catch. So if there is a problem, we are going to return false. If everything happened correctly, we will just come here at the end and return true. That's why it's boolean. This is a way to know if the operation work or not. Okay, so now we are ready to store the information. We need to call this method from our main activity. At the moment, we are going to show the, the things on the screen, and at the same time, we are going to save everything on the database. So when we receive the list, we are going to create a variable here. Okay, this is the post list that we are sending to the screen. And with the same list, we are going to have it on the database. So, we are going to store it on the database. So, ready database object, get instance, store post, we send a context, the context of the activity, and the post list. Okay. So now if we execute this, we shouldn't see any crash or any kind of problem. And all the data should be stored in the database. But we are not going to check that this is okay until we read it and show it from the database on the screen. I want to explain a concept here. The reason is because I am st starting the transaction and finishing the transaction at the end. It's just to open the database to write once put all the value in it, and then close the operation. So the database is only being opened to write once. If I remove that, and I have it like this at the moment, 
this is going to work, but the, for every insert that is going to open the database to write. And that operation in programming in Android is expensive. So if I have it like this, I'm just going to save a lot of computation. I'm just going to open the database to write, put all the rows and make a bulk or a batch insert. I'm going to insert an interval of items rather than insert a lot of a lot of items in a single query. Now we are ready to read from the database this information and display it on the screen.